I run a small business, a plumbing business, and I'm struggling to keep staff in the current market. Uh, we are not big and we can only pay what we can afford to pay. We do offer a great work environment, especially for a family. What do you think are some of the things we can do to keep staff and attract replacements? Um, this is especially pertinent right now. There's a lot of people that are struggling to fill positions. I talk to a lot of business owners at the moment, and the biggest thing they're telling me is like, Jimmy, uh, what's the point in doing marketing if we're like six months booked in advance? And it's a great point. Um, now, you, you, the hard thing about being a smaller business is is retaining people because people are always chomping at the bit, especially if you're taking the time to train good people and make them work really well in your business, then they're naturally going to be uh, attractive to other businesses that are looking for good people. So uh, my advice to you, Susan, is basically a twofold. Firstly, keep doing what you're doing. If you're providing an environment that is really, really suitable uh, for a family, you got to know the niche, you got to know the type of people you want within your business right like you know as well as I do not every plumber is the right fit for your plumbing business so you want to make sure that you're attracting the people that suit you guys and if you're a very family orientated business then it doesn't take much so uh, you've built a culture around that right so like you've got a lot of people that are family orientated and, the, and your unique advantage is the fact that you offer family-based hours from what it sounds like and you, you really look after people with families so um, you know that attracts a certain type of plumber and we want to make sure that we keep that and we want to make sure we don't lose um, that in the in the pursuit of more plumbers. Now you've got to balance that with the fact that you the rubber meets the road, and you've got to keep uh, people working, and you've got to and you've got to keep the work flowing through. So you just need plumbers. So let's talk about a few ways you can. Um, uh, answer, I'll answer this question in two parts: uh, how you can keep the, the current staff you have, and then how you can attract more. So let's talk about keeping the staff because I think it's the easiest thing. Um, yesterday I went to a networking event uh, called WA Leaders, and and a gentleman came on and spoke about how. Um, you know, your biggest asset in your business is obviously your staff and you need to make sure that every conversation you have with a staff member, whether it's daily, whether it's in your meetings, you reinforce and reinforce the values of your business because people work for other people based on, uh, you know, money's one of the reasons, but a lot of the times it's not money that drives people to work somewhere. A lot of people just want a good working environment and that's different for everyone. Obviously, not everyone has uh, the same... Uh, definition of what makes a good work environment, but uh, you know, if you can create an environment that's uh, family friendly, and and some people will happily take a discount on their salary to be in an environment that they want to work in. So my advice is, you know, just re any interaction you have with the team, reinforce your values as a business. You know, we're family friendly, we're service orientated, and that will and that will create like a little bit of a barrier around your staff when they go and look at other companies. They're gonna they're gonna reference. They're gonna have another reference point that's just not money, which is uh, really important to have in in my opinion. Now let's talk about retracting uh, attracting replacements for a sec. So. That's interesting. So we've worked with a few businesses now where we've shifted their marketing because they're so busy. We've shifted their marketing from um, trying to get new business to actually uh, in basically running employment ads. Um, so we run, uh, we create a video basically for them that runs through, you know, exactly what we're saying. You guys are family friendly and talk to a few of the other staff. And we run Facebook ads that are targeting the demographic that we want to hire. Um, we run Facebook ads about why you should work for us over others. You know, big companies do this. And one of the best companies to look at that does this is the Australian Defence Force. As much as uh, you can disagree with the Defence Force and their recruiting tactics, but they they are the masters of basically giving off an image about what the what the military is and really selling that image. So um, you look at them, for example, but that's what I would be trying to do is, and, and little things you can do to attract people is like, you're going to put your seek ads out there. You're going to put your Facebook things in there. Spend a bit of time copywriting the ad and making sure that it really aligns with the people uh, that you want to attract. So I, I go on to seek all the time and I see ads and they're terrible. They are just freaking terrible. And you're like, why Why even bother? No one's going to click on that. No one, any plumber that's half decent, that's not desperate for a job is going to look at that and go, I don't want to work here. So put a little bit of effort into your, uh, put a little bit of effort into your uh, ads to make sure uh, you attract, you really think about the person you're trying to attract. So that's what I would say to you is uh, keep your chin up. Look, the market's going to soften and there'll be plenty of people around and you want to just position yourself so that you are, when those people do start popping out of the mines and you know, you're getting smashed by the mines at the moment, I imagine for staff, once the mines uh, slow down a little bit, you can start to, um, if you're 
the type of people you want to attract in the market are there. Uh, they're going to naturally see what you're doing and be naturally attracted to your values uh, because you know the reason, the sole reason most people go to the mines is money. So once the money's not there, then they're going to start to look for things, other things that drive them in their decision, which is like family, things like that. So just keep doing what you're doing, Susan. I think even being conscious that that's your advantage is very, very. Uh, you put you a lot further ahead than a lot of businesses, and uh, just keep uh, just keep pushing along. Maybe shift your ads at the moment to more of an employment-based um, goal. That would be uh, my advice there. So 